This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Pelache versus Jackson. You all have been dating for five years, but allegations of infidelity have put your relationship on hold. Ms. Pelache, tell us why you've opened this case. Hi, Your Honor. So, today I'm here because I'm ready to confirm that my boyfriend has been cheating on me. Confirm it. Okay. Confirm, <laughs> yes. I... So, I'm just tired of feeling like I'm on this roller coaster, you know? I've been noticing red flags, and I'm tired of questioning and being told excuse after excuse. I love him, but at the end of the day, if he's cheating, then I'm... I'm through. How does it make you feel, Mr. Jackson, to see your girlfriend of five years just like, I'm tired. I am tired of all of this. For one, it makes me... It makes me feel bad hearing these aws, and it just makes me feel like I'm being made out to be the bad person once again. And again, nothing has happened. These are just allegations, plain and simple. And on my end, I'm being made... I'm the victim here, you know? So... <laughs> I'm just saying, like, with all these allegations that she keeps, like, throwing at me, I'm, it takes... It drains me, too, and I'm just this tired, and I want her to understand that, okay, I've been telling the truth this whole time. Maybe get an apology okay. from... But you... <laughs> from but you all, too, you... maybe. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> all right, so you all have been five years together. Huh. I got to think that at some point, it was happiness. Tell me how you met him, Ms. Pelache. We went to the same college. So, we're, we're also both artists. You know, we're actually... I got so that vibe. We, we hang out... <laughs> we, we hang out with the same types of people and everything. And then one day, one of our mutual friends said that I needed to meet this guy named Mecca Jackson. I'm like, okay, cool. And so, at first, it was just business. Um, but we kind of, you know, we, we caught a vibe. What made the music, the art feel so good? What was that about? And he just, he's like me, you know, minus the sneakiness. Um, uh, another yeah. jab. Mm. Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, we're, we, we have a lot in common. It's just, I feel like he gets me, and I feel like a lot of people don't really get me like that. Okay. So, um, yeah, and it was good once upon a time, you know? Yeah. So, here's the question. When did the sour notes begin? What was yeah. the first time so of cheating? The, fir the very first time that I really noticed the red flag was when he went on tour in the, in the, in the UK. It was my first time, you know, um, while I was with him, experiencing him leaving the country. And so, that was... I was excited for him. And then... Uh, and then <laughs> I noticed... Um, I was on Twitter. And Lurking. I was I was just on Twitter. <laughs> I wasn't looking for anything. I was just on Twitter, and I I'm scrolling and I see these pictures of him, and there were at least four or five half naked women <laughs> around him, and um, there was even one picture where some girl has her butt in his face, <laughs> and. So, yeah. So actually, if he posted it to actually Twitter, do you... Pictures. I was about to say, I, 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 yeah, you tell me about it, let me see it. He, That's what I... he, tried, to, he tried to delete the pictures <laughs> oh, hold before on. Ron, I saw them. Oh, hold on, please get yes, those? He, he tried to delete the pictures before I saw them, trying to be sneaky. You know, if it's so innocent, then why would you try to hide it? Let's see what we're looking at. So, it looks like four pictures. It says, ooh, nothing, just my first night in the UK. And then, there are the four <laughs> pictures. So, there's the first picture. All right, then there's a picture of women... Oh. Uh, naked. And then... Then this picture, everybody's got their derriere is in the air. Yeah. Like, and they're waving them like they just don't care. Okay. <laughs> and then we have three women dancing with their butts in the air. All right, see so... the last picture. There's a picture of you with a butt in your face. Oh, that's the same okay. shirt. That looks like some kind of bash you had there, my man. Uh, that's so, so, what was that? Okay, let me just say, I'm living in the moment. Some things are out of my control, right? I'm enjoy... <laughs> Wait, uh, I'm living in the moment, so... I didn't personally invite these people. They came over. I happened to be in the vicinity. <laughs> Wait. You oh, participated. Oh, okay. I'm just saying, you it's not... It's not... 100% what it seems like. I know what it looks like. I know what it looks like. 
but I Clearly. did not do anything with anybody. I just happened to be there. Everybody was wilding out. Okay, so let me get this straight. Yeah. You weren't enjoying the butt in your face. Is that what you're trying to tell the court? I wasn't it. <laughs> I, it's not like I was enjoying... I was... Because you look pretty happy to me. <laughs> you right? look like that's a good thing. He's smiling. He, he thinks it's funny. Wow. It's a big joke. <laughs> That's not a that's not a sad face. <laughs> I've seen sad faces, oh, and that's like what? Yes. That's what that is. And Mr. Jackson, look, look. Hey. disgusting. Thank you. So your story is that yes, you were there. Yes, you were having a good time. The pictures look bad, but you did not do anything exactly. with any of those that's women who were there. That's how they chose to host me. I did not. I didn't. I didn't make them do that. They did that on their own. That's how they party over there. But. I did not do anything. I just happened of to be course. there. Would you please stand at the podium? Okay. Would you state your name for the court record? Johnny Schmitz. All right, Mr. Schmitz. What do you know about this event? Um, well, I am the promoter that was helping uh, Mecca with this show. Um, this was the first overseas show for him, first experience international, and we were really excited for him. So after the performance, a successful, a successful performance, we decided to throw him a party. Let me ask you this. Did you see him with any of these females in a sexual way? So the women were being very provocative. <laughs> I asked you and, a very specific and this is, question. Okay, so Did this is... Did you see him being sexual or having sexual contact with any of those women? That's a yes or no. Sexual contact, no. Exactly. Well, what about the woman of whose course. butt was sitting on his face? There's, there, I mean, there's no contact there, and that uh, can be like a whole bunch of things. this much space. I have no... Okay, okay. Get I didn't, that's fine. Like, yeah, I didn't even notice. No, he did, no. no. His mouth that is over this like... Hey, lady, what are you doing? No, that ain't what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> so, that, Mr. Mr. Smith. That ain't what you're saying. Yeah. But, Mr. Smith, I know you might be trying to cover for Mr. Jackson, but you're here in court and you're sworn yeah. to tell the truth. Mm -hmm. So, was he involved with any of these women in any kind of sexual contact? It may not have been intercourse, but any kind of sexual contact, hugging, rubbing, rubbing touching. kissing. I don't consider hugging sexual contact. But I just, you did physical... see him hugging. Yeah. Okay. Just hugging. That's all I've witnessed. Okay. Did you see? You didn't see him kissing? No, not okay. at all. Okay. So that's all you saw. Right. And obviously we got evidence of him. I, I don't, don't know, know what, what you're that. telling her to get out of my face. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that's not the all only right. thing, Your Honor. There's this girl that lives in our town, and I, I know that they've worked together. But my issue is that she would be calling Mecca at like two, three a.m. Okay. And a few months after I noticed that she was calling all of these late hours, I happened to be at one of his events. I was in the bathroom, and I hear some girl talking about how her and Mecca have been talking a lot and that they're gonna be hanging out or something Again, nothing like that. has anything and to do with me. It, okay, so, who, so there's someone else named Mecca? I don't know, that's what, <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. It wasn't it's, it's this young lady? Named... Yes. She's had this scenario with this girl in her head so many times, and she okay. thinks something is going on. But you believe all this is going on, and because you're a musician, it's part of your world, and she should know that and understand it, right? If I'm telling you, listen, this girl is just a... She is a model. She's been in a, a video shoot or two. And that's it? Yes. So, here's the deal. Uh -huh. We have a friend who is very familiar with the music industry. She's, she's got family in the music industry. She's seen infidelity. She's seen allegations of infidelity who can give us some advice. We have Mama Joyce from the Real Housewives of Atlanta who is gonna come and share with you about what this looks like and how to manage that space. Ron, would you please escort Mama Joyce? In? Yes, sir. Hi. You're here with us. Thank you. Thank we, you. We got some young people need your eyeball. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> they need you to help. Mama Joyce, if you saw pictures like this of your boyfriend on tour, and all this is going on around him, is it gonna be a little more difficult to well, trust him? If you saw this, if you care enough and you saw this, you would get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
But from what you've seen, particularly musicians, I mean, musicians tend to be a little flirty with women and they, you know, because they're trying to, you know, advance their career. Uh, that puts them in a unique position. So how should she what? deal with him as a musician, you know, trying to appeal to women, you know, that whole public persona? But see, the thing about it, like he said, he went back to his room. When you go back, you don't have to uh, indulge in the things that the other guys do. Mm -hmm. exactly. exactly. You can go back and let the other guys do what they do, and then you go back to your room and you can get on your computer and call your lady. Mama Joyce, thank you so much for your uh, input because I think hearing it from you, knowing your the relationships you have in the industry really makes a difference. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. All right, Mr. Cutler, what yeah. we got? I, th I think we have our evidence. Here's what we've heard so far. We've got Twitter pictures of him on the UK tour. Mm -hmm. You know, provocative pictures. We got models calling him at 2 a.m. We've got what she's overheard in the bathroom. And all of this is leading her to the conclusion that he's cheating. Mm -hmm. She came in to confirm that. She already feels it in her heart. And he says he's not cheating. He's got a witness who says he's not cheating. And he wants to clear his good name. All right. So, this court has done a full and complete investigation to get to the bottom of these cheating allegations. At this time, the court will call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to the courtroom to determine, is he cheating? Mr. Platt, how are you, sir? Wonderful. Well, Mr. Jackson, you're looking nervous. You're shaking your head. You're thumbing your fingers. Is there something you need to tell before we tell it? I'm just saying, I'm sticking to my story and I'm letting you guys know, I've told her no nothing but the truth. I've told you guys nothing but the truth. Again, this is just something where it's, I know what it looks like, but it, that's not the case, you know? All right, let's find out the question. You asked Mr. Jackson, the night your promoter threw you a party in the UK in 2014, did you have sexual intercourse with a girl at that party? What was his response? He stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being truthful. I'm gonna need an apology or something. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need an apology. <laughs> We're not well, done yet, Mr. We get, Jackson. We're getting there. She had her hands folded uh, down. I'm just saying, yeah. keep the same energy. Like, <laughs> right? Uh, right? Okay. Who's the victim now? <laughs> well, we, we, we got one more question. Uh, I'm just saying. Mr. Jackson was asked, since you have been in a relationship with Miss Pelachet, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than Miss Pelachet? What was his response to that question? He stated no. The polygraph determined that he was being deceptive. Why are you gonna believe a machine over me? Like, come on. All right, Mr. Jackson. This, um, Mr. Jackson, you've had sexual intercourse with someone else. Really? If you want your relationship with Miss Pelachet to go forward, now's the time to tell her what happened, she, when it happened. She's and standing how there with happened. tears streaming down her face. This is your chance to come clean. You owe this to her. She's giving you five years of her life. If you done it, you did it. You Just talk, to show tell out. her about it. No, what was that? And when? It was at the start of our relationship, and it was somebody I, I talked to before her, and it was a one and done thing. I did feel bad afterwards. I didn't bother mentioning it to her, cause I worked through it. And again, I've been. Did y'all ask him how many times? By chance? No. Okay. Well, how many times? It was that one time. Uh. You came here to get answers, and you've gotten the answers. Now that you have this information, what's in your heart right now? I'm... Honestly... I'm humiliated a little bit. Because I really... I, I prepared myself mentally to hear, you know, the things that I knew about. And so to, you know, hear that it's something else I didn't even see, it makes me wonder, like, it's just, I'm, I'm, all, I'm still on, on the roller coaster. You know? Yeah. I wish we could work things out, but I just, I really don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't see that really happening. Okay. 
You all have been together for 16 years. You've married, you've got two kids together, but the future of this family depends on what happens here today in this courtroom. Ms. Drews, you've initiated this case. Tell us why, please. Because I feel my husband's cheating on me and I just want to know what's going on. I, he's been distanced. He's just don't talk to me, don't do nothing around the house no more. And I'm wanting to know why. And I'm wanting to know why all of it's going on. Is he the man you married? No. He's a different person? Yes. Correct. How does that make you feel? It hurts. A lot of arguing. A lot of arguing. So there's no peace in your home. And how long has it been that way? How long have you been living like this? About two years. Oh, wow. And I see the tears in your eyes. That has got to be overwhelming. Yep. Mr. Drews, your, your wife, your bride is standing here with tears in her eyes rolling down her face. What does that make you feel like? I mean, it hurts. It's, it's all usually starts over something's missing or something disappeared or it's not where she wanted it at and instantly she starts blaming me. You had sex with somebody and you gave them my stuff or you're giving them my belongings. It really, it started, I lost a good job and I kind of went through it, I was depressed. Just, didn't really do nothing. I slept all the time, laid on the couch, didn't do nothing. I was out of work for about a month and a half. And that's when it all started. She, we had some girl and she was a little on the friendly side from what we heard. And I constantly got accused of her every time Donna went somewhere. So all these accusations, uh, do you deny them? Yes. Okay. Um, okay, so you say you have not been cheated. I have not, no. I, no, there's no way. I got a family, there's no way. There's nothing in the world that would make me do that. I love my family, I love my kids, I love my wife. I wouldn't jeopardize it. All right, but there has to be something that gave you a clue, Miss Drews, that something was going on. What were the things that made you go, hmm? I found a shirt in my house, in my basement, in my laundry, that was not my shirt, or my kids' shirt, or my friends' shirts. So whose shirt was this? It's her friends' kids from where they came over to go swimming. No. And they changed no. clothes in our boys' room and they no. just threw their shirt down and it got in their dirty clothes. Her friend even said to me it was her kids, but so, then she turns around and tells Donna it wasn't. So it's her friend was trying to start stuff between us. It's the only explanation. And you obviously, Ms. Drews, did not find I, no, that to I'm be not, true. No, because I was with my friend that day. And it that was, was your first red shirt. flag that something's going on here, potentially. Correct. Have you seen any other red flags? The bodily fluid on my bed, on his side of the bed. Bodily fluid? Yes. Okay. What did you find and how did you story. find it? Um, I had, we had just moved in a couple months before that and my friend had called me up and was like, how'd you do your bedroom? How'd you finish up your bedroom? I was like, well, why don't you come over and see it? So, you know, you would like pull your blanket back and go to look, like go to show them because you had just slept there. So I pulled it back to go show them. And when I pulled it back, there was a spot on his side, like on the edge of his bed, right there about that big. Okay. Of yeah. blood. And I'm like, that's not from me. Okay. And, so, and you think that this came from him having sex with another woman? Yeah. I was In your so. brand new bedroom. Right. Brand new sheets. Right, correct. Nice. Mr. Drews, did you have an explanation as to why this stain was there? I do construction, and I took about five blows to the shin one day at work from skids and all that, and I had a big old gash in my leg, and it wouldn't heal for several months. And it was constantly oozing, the scab was constantly getting pulled off. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, it was gross. But, I'm, I'm still right. trying to give you the benefit of the doubt, Ms. Drews, you believe it was from him being with another woman in your bed. And that's I mean, false. What else has happened to make you think I've he's had cheating? things come up missing. All right, okay. tell me about this. Um, at our old place, there was a pair of shoes came up missing, sandals shoes. of mine. And then when we moved to the new place, another pair came up missing. I've had. Polishes come up missing. I've had all kinds what, of things. What kind of Nail polishes? polish? Yeah. Her one friend even caught her. This is about three Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. on. Hold We're going to get to you. Nail polish, two pair of shoes, anything else? Uh, I mean, people tampons, move shoes off. Tampons, I've had tampons come up missing on my house. I've had all kinds oh, of okay. things. Okay, people, flips, people don't use flips, them. All kinds of stuff. Ms. Drews, you seem, you seem, I mean, just convinced that he is Something's cheating, right. that he's had women in your house. Why, I mean... Because he's did it before. It's been a long time. <laughs> he's done it before? Yes. He had... Years what? ago when I got past it, you what, know, what? I moved on. What happened? But he, he, he had messed around, but we got past it. And I had two, but 
we got past. When it. you say mess around, I mean, in my house. So when we get into arguments, she would take off. She'd go do I her thing, and I would do my thing. And yeah. your thing was having my house. I had, I had an affair one time in our house with somebody that we know. Yes. And but. Okay. You know, I mean, it happened, and we okay. both agreed to forgive. I forgave her for what she did, and she forgave me for what we yes, did, and, we've and we moved on. on. Five years after we start the family, this stuff happens because stuff starts disappearing. But here's the thing, Miss Drews, you are convinced that he's cheating now. Yes. There is a past history. Correct. Of With cheating. My oh. <laughs> so, because of this history of him cheating in the past in the home with right. a friend. Correct. You believe that Mr. Drews is bringing women to your house cheating? Yes, yes. Mr. Drews, and you're mm -hmm. adamant none mm -hmm. of this no, is going there's on. There's no way. I go to work and I come home, and every time I'm at the house, I'm always with my kids. How do you explain these <laughs> missing items? <laughs> well, the one pair of flip-flops or sandals, whatever, that came up missing, her one friend called her and even said that her other friend's the one that took them, that she'd seen, them, seen her wearing them and even described them exactly how they were, right? That was one pair. Yeah, one pair. And she right. knows it's her friend's, but for some reason, she just keeps blaming me. Well, is it possible that he's messing with any of your friends? And that's what I even thought, too. Maybe it's, cl it's somebody close to me. I've even thought that. Has anything else occurred to make you think he's cheating? Um, tapping on the window. I heard, like, sound like a, a nail. What is it? What does it sound like? on my window, like a nail. Like, on the glass window of Okay. My house. Okay, like a fingernail. Yeah. I said something to him. He's like, oh, it's nothing. He blew it off. You're leaving out okay. a key part of the story. All right, okay, hold, hold on, Mr. Oh, Drew. No, no, I'm going to give you a chance to respond, but I want to hit... So you heard well, some tapping on the window. You yes. didn't think anything of it. I said something. He blew it off, so... Okay. I just said, forget it. I never said no more about it. But then I'm laying in bed one night, and my sons come to him and tap him up and wake him up and say, somebody's tapping on the window. So you think the tapping on the window is what? Maybe for him. And that's why he didn't tell me. Like some woman coming to tap on the I'm window. I'm wondering. Who yeah. You all live on a on a first yes. floor. Okay, because I'm like. Yeah. Is somebody right. climbing a ladder to make this happen? No, no. Okay. We live on a one story like ranch style house. A ranch style house. Yes. So so tip tip tip. Tip. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jones, that's pretty bold if a woman's no, no. coming to tap on your yeah, yeah, window. Yeah, yeah. That's why I was. And you would think she knows which window to tap. You know. Why would I tell someone to come tap on the window for me if I am having an affair? Why would I do that? That's yeah, the I'm million dollar sleeper. question because every day somebody comes in here and I'm like, that was dumb. <laughs> so, and they still do it, right? They still do it. Right. So, that, the fact that it's dumb or doesn't make any sense, that fits right here. Yep. Right. right in here. Okay, so tell us why you think they're here and tap, tap, tapping on your window. When we first moved into our new place, we moved all the kids' bicycles, our gas grill, our charcoal grill, underneath our kids' windows. And it was covered by, like, a canopy tarp. There was no way no one could get to the window to tap on it. That's okay, there but There was a no. wood fence on the one side. You couldn't get to it. I'm 100% for sure it was no person knocking on the window. Then why don't... So you're just not gonna admit that it was a person? I don't think it was. I really don't. Okay. All right. Is there anything else that makes you think that Mr. Drew's cheating? I found a fingernail at my doorstep. <laughs> we back to this happen. A fingernail. A fingernail. Yes, a fake okay. fingernail, like like this one right here. A little press on nail. Yeah. Yep. And, and you and, don't and wear press rug. on nail. No. Where'd you find it? In front of my door. Okay, so Mr. Drews, whose who's nail is this? I have no clue. It's either gotta be from the people that used to live in our house. That's the only thing. Tap, tap, tap. Because she this found it right no before... It was, she found it like it the don't. fourth or fifth day we moved in. No. Which is consistent because she said the tap, tapping tap, was tap, like the third day you moved in. That was in front of the house, not the back of the house. The tapping was at the back of the yeah, house, not the front. Yeah, it was at the back of the house. Well, if you're going to tap and ain't nobody answer, you're going to go all the way around yeah. the house. <laughs> <laughs> tap, 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 but if the nail was going to fall off, wouldn't the nail have been in the back? Well, after all that, that, look, after that, all that, that tapping, that the nail just gave up and said, I'm, I'm going to fall off. Now, what will happen if you find out he is cheating? What is his state? Our marriage. You will be done. Yes, I'm, I'm, I don't want to live like that. I wouldn't want to live like that, so I wouldn't do it. But you all have been together for 16 years. You have yeah. a family together. It's the... I Trust feel like part. I've been through, yeah. Mental, a lot of mental, like he's been playing mind games with me about it. So you have all, right a there. family at stake. 
16 years mm -hmm. of living together and being together, having survived an issue before in the past, mm -hmm. all of it's at stake today. Yep. And you are trying to resolve this tension you've been living with for two or three years. This court has done a full and a complete investigation to get to the bottom of these allegations. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Michael Williams, to determine, is he cheating? Ron, please record Mr. Williams in. Michael Williams. Good day, Mr. Williams. How are you? I'm doing fine, Your Honor. How are you? I'm doing good. It's good to see you. Good Thank to see you. you, too. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I'm a retired federal agent with over 25 years of law enforcement experience. I'm currently a certified polygraph examiner for the state of Georgia, and I'm also a licensed private detective. Before you ask that question, I'm watching Mr. Drews. I got to ask you, is there anything that you want to get off your chest? I had an issue with one of the questions from when we knew each other was cheating. I didn't like the way it was phrased. I'm pretty sure that it was before we got married, but I never had sex with nobody besides the one you know about. But I did fool around once. So are you, All right. are you trying to precondition us for the answer? No, I'm, like... no. I'm, I'm just, I'm admitting to a time back before the one thing happened. Other than that, I'm fine with all the other questions. I'm good. All right, well, we need to jump into it. Is there anything else you need to confess? Nope, that's it. <laughs> all right, we've not had the precondition yeah. of the... before the polygraph. Okay, I'm just telling you, on that question... That one question, okay. it might be something, but it really wasn't because I wasn't and it was. Because it sounds it was like... That's why we both to... were doing our own thing. You know okay. what I mean? When we were arguing. All right, well, Mr. Williams, let's get to the question. <laughs> <laughs> you asked Mr. Drews... Have you given any of the items your wife says were missing to anyone with whom you've had sexual contact? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he answered, no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. <laughs> Told you. Told you. You also asked Mr. Drews, when your wife found a, a bodily fluid stain on the bed sheets, was that stain from you having sexual intercourse with anyone other than your wife? What was his response? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this particular question, the lie detector determined he was being truthful. His Drew's arms are not unfolded yet. So I see that. <laughs> that. That's a classic sign of I don't believe. I'm no, waiting. I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to the end. Not, I'm conv not... not convinced yet. Right. You asked Mr. Drew's, since you've been married, other than what your wife already knows, have you had sexual intercourse or physical sexual contact with anyone other than your wife? What was his response? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being truthful. <laughs> Told you. I didn't marry you to mess it up. <laughs> and the tears that we're seeing now, those tears of relief and happiness that he has not been cheating yeah. on you, that he's been telling you the truth. Yeah. Are, you, are you ready to move past this now? Yes, I am. Is there anything you want to say to Mr. Drews? I'm sorry. I'm just glad we got it over with. Maybe we can move on now. Because I'm tired of fighting. It's got to go. I get it. Ms. Drews. I am too. I think that even though... Okay. <laughs> Where are you? Even though you say, Ms. Drews, that you put the past behind you, I think it's been lingering like a ghost. And you've given shape to that ghost. And I think that you really are gonna have to work intentionally on 
giving him space and, and giving him the room to know that you trust him. Now, and, and Mr. Drews, I see you relieved. You're, you're shedding tears. You're gonna have to give her a lot of grace. It's gonna be real easy for you to become bitter. I've checked out. I admit I've checked out sometimes. It's because of the constant fighting. You know, I come home. Yeah. I don't want to do nothing to improve the household when all I'm going to do is turn around and get screamed at and yelled at and accused of something I'm not doing. So what's the point of working on something if I know it's just going to get destroyed? 